Dogecoin is my is my sort of favorite cryptocurrency. The NFT is not even on the blockchain. You should at least encode the JPEG in the blockchain. If, if for some reason, Elon finds out that there are NFTs on Doge or meme coins on Doge, and he says anything about it, there will be a flood through. I think this could quite possibly be the play in the lead up to the next bull run. I'm talking about Doge and not the coin Doge, but everything that's built on it. So Doge and the DRC 20s. In this video, I'm going to break down what they are, all of those things, and why I think it is a very, very good plan. Why I think you should watch the video. Um, first off, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before moving in on the space. It's very, very risky. Also, down below there are chapters so you can fast forward to the seconds that you want to help you navigate the video easier. First up, big shout out to Chris Coffey. I actually watched his video on Dogenals and it just seemed like a slam dunk. It just made sense. So at that point in time, I actually started to take some positions and just investigate and look a little bit more. So I'm not talking about the coin Doge. So I'm not talking about um, buying Doge the coin itself. I'm talking about everything that's built on it. Now, Dogenals are a almost like what ordinals are to Bitcoin. So the ability to have NFTs on Doge. And this is this is where it gets very, very bullish. So on doggy.market, you can see here Doge maps. You can then see the top collections here and uh, what they're going for. And then you've got DRC20s, which are kind of like when you look at ordinals and you see Audi and where that has run to and the pump that that has had. Now, I think the first comparison that I just want to kind of show you to make is uh, something like Etherox. So Etherox right now, when you have a look at the price of Etherox about 100 days ago, you're looking at 100 ETH for an Etherox. That's just what it's going to cost you. So that is a cool quarter million dollars to pick up a JPEG rock. Now, you've then got Bitcoin rock, something like you'd see on Magic Eden. This thing, 7.5 Bitcoin, which is around 315,000 US dollars. And then when we get to Doge rocks, we can see here there's one for 1,400, then there's 3,600, then 5,600. Now, I'm not saying you can throw another sort of three zeros or two zeros onto these Doge rocks, but it just gives you a bit of a comparison. I also want to point out the DRC 20s. When you have a look at Audi, this thing is sitting at $50 a coin and there's a market cap of over a billion, so $1.069 billion, which is crazy, which is huge. Then when you have a look at Dogenals and what they've got, so you've got doggy or doji whatever you want to say and this market cap is 67 million so you can see here that for a meme coin on doge i don't think it's going to overtake or outpace doge as a coin but you can see what the meme coin on bitcoin has done and you can see what the meme coin on doge which is a meme coin so meme coinception where that could go now when you actually have a look at some of the nfts this is where i get a little bit excited when you have a look a lot of these are just ripoffs so you can see dogecoin cats this thing is just basically cool cats um doge smokes but when you go to dogenal mini doges you can then see here what their floor price is. Floor price, $126, so sort of 1300 Doge. And you're going through, they look cute, they look good. And then when you're going through here, you can see uh, a lot of these are just derivatives. It doesn't look like there's a lot of effort put into it, but this is where some of the um, opportunity comes in. If you're paying a little bit of attention to the space, you might actually catch something that could have a bit of a rip later on. Now, just so you kind of know uh, where I'm at and what I'm doing, you can see here what I'm holding. I've got some Doge maps. I've got some Bob on Doge, Doge mullet punks, Doge and all mini Doges, um, some Doji and some DCEX. So those are my bags. So if I'm talking about them, I'm pumping my bags. So why do I think that this is the play? Why do I think that this is worth putting a little bit of attention towards in the lead up to the bull run? First thing, Dogecoin is the people's coin when it comes to meme coins. People know what Bitcoin is. People know what Ethereum is. The next thing that people usually say is Dogecoin. And when Dogecoin does print new millionaires coming into the next bull run, how are Doge uh, people in the Doge ecosystem wanting to flex? They're going to want to flex to buy NFTs and to also buy coins. And this may seem ridiculous. It may seem out there, but those that printed a whole bunch of Ethereum, they bought um, apes, they bought 
punks, they would buy Ethereum assets because that's what they saw. That's what we saw the last cycle. In this cycle, what are the Doge millionaires going to buy and where are those prices sitting right now? So when you have a look at something like Doge or Mini Doges, which are sitting up the top, $126. This doesn't even cover gas on a very like, this doesn't even cover gas if you're on Ethereum, like trading hard when something's dropping. Because when you have a look at something like Doge or Mini Doges, this thing's sitting up the top and it's $126. If someone has printed a, just a crap ton of wealth from Dogecoin, where are they going to deposit? I don't know if Doge or Mini Doges will be the ones that stand out. I don't know if there will be another collection that'll come through and just wipe it. So you got like Dogecoin Punks, Doge or Toads, which just look like Cryptoads. I don't know where it's gonna go, but it makes sense to pay attention because if the blue chip of the Dogenal ecosystem is 125 bucks, it almost seems like a really easy way to take a position, hold on to it for a year or so, and just watch it run up. Because we have seen Doge influencers and Doge celebrities come through. Now, here is the other thing, and this is the one big main crazy reason why I think this is gonna pop off. Elon Musk said this when he was on the Joe Rogan podcast. I mean, NFTs, the funny thing is that the NFT is not even on the blockchain. It's just a URL to the to the, the JPEG. So it's not even like, it's like you should at least encode the JPEG in the blockchain. Now, if you understand Elon and Doge, Elon loves Doge and he actually kind of tweeted about it and it popped off. He also changed the X or Twitter logo to a Doge logo for a short time as well. So if you take Elon wanting NFTs to be on the chain and take him loving Doge, you then combine them to actually have NFTs that are on the Doge blockchain itself. This just seems like a slam dunk. Now, I'm not saying it can happen, but if, if for some reason, Elon finds out that there are NFTs on Doge or meme coins on Doge, and he says anything about it, there will be a flood through. You can see this, um, something like this, that's 126 bucks. You can, I could see this running up very fast, very far. When you look at Dogecoin punks, what are we sitting at here? Seeing at 45 bucks. Uh, if you look at anything, mullet punks, they are sitting at $9. So the idea here is that two, three, 400 bucks just spread across some of these NFTs and just held them could actually pop off, could run if Elon says anything and some attention comes through. And it's not just the NFTs, even though I'm like pumping on the NFTs because that's where I think some gains are. I do think that the coins as well. We have seen the rise of Bonk. Bonk has absolutely killed it. We saw people absolutely print with Pepe. Will there be a meme coin on the meme coin? And this is where I've taken some position in Doji and DCEX. I will put, um, sprinkle a little bit into some other coins as well at points in time. But the idea here is I just want to take positions and hedge for when the, for when that time comes and someone says something about Dogenals and it pops off. Now, this could just blow over. It might not work. It might not pop off. It might not print. But for me, the risk reward of this right now seems like a no brainer. Now look, by bringing this to you early, even though I've taken positions, yes, I could be pumping my own bags, but if you have decent risk tolerances, it's worth paying attention to because Doge is the big meme coin. It, Elon loves Doge, NFTs on Doge, people make millions of Doge, they're gonna pour it in, they're gonna wanna buy something, it, ju it just seems to make sense. Um, and then when I start to think about the logical standpoint, if something like Doge or Mini Doges is the blue chip asset, what does a blue chip asset look like on Ethereum um, you're looking at a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in the middle of a bull run. What does it look like on Solana? You're going to get to 50, 50 grand easy. At this point in time, you've got $126. If Doge hits a dollar, you've essentially got a $1,300 asset. Even though you haven't appreciated it in the Doge, you've still got a decent hedge there. But if for some reason, this goes from 1,300 up to sort of 2,500 or 5,000 Doge, and Doge hits a dollar a piece, you've compounded those gains. So if you are a Doge bull, it almost makes sense to start to investigate this because this would be a way that you can double and multiply your doge and if you're just an nft degenerate you can then hopefully see the dots that i'm connecting and why i've got a little bit of a sparkle in my eye when it comes to doge so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you enjoyed this little breakdown and what's actually happening with it 
I think this is very risky in terms of my overall bag and allocation. This is like 0.05%. It's just a small, tiny amount in the hopes that if it does catch off, it catches, catches on and blows up, but it's not a huge portion of my allocation. This isn't where I'm spending all my time. I'm not spending all day, every day trading um, some dojinals but I'm coming back every couple of days just to see what's happening and trying to stay across it because if it does pop off, I wanna make sure that I absolutely print. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. I had a pleasure making it. Hopefully you got the excitement that I've got for something that's just a little bit weird, something a little bit different. Um, if you did, go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you in the next video.